In today's video, we review the 2015 Google Chromecast, right after this. Hey everyone, this is Michael Manna and welcome to the T4 Show. In today's video, we are going to take a look at and review the Google Chromecast. This is the 2015 model. You can see the redesign change here from the previous Chromecast. However, one good thing is this is still just 35 bucks and available now at Best Buy and BestBuy.com as well as Amazon and of course the Google Play Store. So let's take a look and unbox the 2015 Google Chromecast. So as we open up the box, this is what we find is the Chromecast itself. And then we have a power plug powered by micro USB. Uh, this is your standard AC adapter, even though it's branded uh, for the Google Chromecast. So the USB port uh, can be used to power the Chromecast, or if you have a USB port on your television, even easier, you can use the USB port there and plug this in without the power adapter. I really like the magnet because uh, basically last Chromecast was just one stick. This makes it a little bit more pliable, actually a lot more pliable to um, set up and just put on the back of your television set like that or even carry it in a backpack or a bag. Now, in most cases, you're going to plug it in the back of your television set, but here at the DDP Yoga Performance Center, we are pretty fancy in the conference room, and right here we have an HDMI port, so I can pretty much plug it in and then use the AC adapter. So that's what I'm going to do right here. I'm going to plug in the AC adapter right there. Google Chromecast, power it this way, and then take the HDMI port, plug it in there. Let's check. Okay, so let's do a real world test right here with our uh, 4K TV in the conference room. Turn it on. Now, as we're using the Google Chromecast app, we're going to see the previous gen. That's how we get the, the cool wallpaper back here when you've seen the other videos here at T4 Show Videos. Uh, but for now, we are going to start up the Chromecast here. So now what we have here is I can browse the apps I can cast. So we're going to cast an app right here and see if it works. Okay, so here we have the, um, the YouTube app, which I just opened up. And we are going to play this right from my iPhone 6 Plus. You can see it loading right there. Shoulder problems, taking the bench press out of your chest building up. Now, this is mostly an internet issue uh, with the buffering, but it's playing pretty good. And I'm going to show you today that it might not have to be the case by giving you two options. Very nice. So we stop there, scroll down, go to Pocket Now, and you can see right here that what it's saying with the Pocket Now thing, you might not be able to see it. It brings up a little window, uh, enables me to play it right from there off of the Chromecast. So pretty neat. It comes up pretty quickly too. This is an internet problem. <laughs> so it's not the... Uh, there we go. Modern communication. Yeah. Buffering, buffering. Let's go Damn to the next again. Go to the next one. Now I can set up a playlist where these can play uh, within the Chromecast app, and I can just set up a playlist and have them play uh, consistently through that. So it's pretty nice that I don't have to keep hand-picking one video at a time, so that's that's not bad at all. So that's it, this is the 2015 Google Chromecast. Uh, I tested it out within the DDP Yoga Performance Center, but we do not have an Airport Extreme. We have another type of Wi-Fi router. I want to test this more when I get home and see if the update did indeed uh, do anything to kind of break uh, the Airport Extreme Chromecast communication. So probably follow up with an update video or even cover it on the next episode of the T4 Show podcast. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Please subscribe here to YouTube. And also please visit realstevierichards.com for all your T4 Show content. Thank you and have a good day. Like this video, please subscribe here at T4 Show videos on YouTube. Like cats, go to my Instagram at Stevie Richards. Follow me at BWO Stevie on Twitter. And also, please subscribe in iTunes to the T4 Show podcast. Still updating. That's a nice picture. Thanks, Charter Internet. Really, really good. I wonder if Dallas is even up this early. Hmm. 
should I call him? 